Hey folks, so welcome back to the nuts and bolts of building an intruder. I'm John, this is Marcus, and we're going to cover thread, lead, and wire. <laughs> yeah, thread, lead, and wire. So pick the thread based on uh, what you're trying to get done in your experience level. You know, if you're starting out, um, when we start out tying, we often tie with a heavy hand. So if you use big fly thread, it's super durable. You could tow your boat with it behind your truck. Um, almost as strong, which I prefer, is the Vibius 140 power thread. It's super strong, uh, lesser diameter than the big fly thread. It just doesn't create as much bulk. Yeah, that Vivas is one I've been tying with for a lot, but I also really like the 140, um, which is ultra thread. And the nice thing about it, it's really strong, it's pretty thin, but they do it in a lot of different colors. So we have blue and pink up here. They also have chartreuse and fluorescent orange. That's super nice. You can also just do your standard three aught. It might not be as strong as some of the 140 counts, but it'll do everything you need for sure. Yeah, the key is uh, getting a thread that you're not going to break, but then one, one that also will secure your trailing wire. Yeah. Right. So, um, Senyo's intruder wire, the trailing wire, uh, is super nice and it comes in a couple sizes. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can pick a couple different diameters depending on the, the size of, of a hook you're going to use. And they do that in different colors too. You know, we were talking about shanks earlier and they, we have different colored shanks with olive and blue and we also have the same colors in intruder wire because they're all from Senya. So that's pretty nice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then are you going to put lead eyes on it? Um, you know, we've got painted lead eyes, double pupil lead eyes. I go for the straight nickel plated. Um, they're the cheapest ones you can get. And I like the look of silver. So, you know, silver kind of goes with every fly. You kind of can't go wrong with it. Yeah. Yep. And then there's also just your straight up beads and cones. They still have a lot of use and they're really nice for those steelhead shanks from OPST. Yep. So the lead, thread, and wires, that's kind of the bones of your fly. And then we'll go to our next step. Yep. 